This month, the team supporting a cause brings you story of the Action Northeast Trust, also called the Ant. The Ant is a voluntary organization registered as public charitable trust based in Raumari in Chirang district of Bodoland in Lower Assam. This region is blessed with natural scenic beauty. The Ant was started in October 2000 by Dr. Sunil Kaul, a medical doctor who left Army Medical Corps after 10 years of service to work in rural India, along with Jennifer Liang, a trained social worker from Tata Institute of Social Sciences. These two brave souls have worked in a fragile and conflict-affected area which also faces climate disasters. The end is directly working in 250 village hamlets with a population of 87,000 covering over 15,000 households working towards sustainable and holistic development of rural and poor voiceless communities focusing on its key elements like nurturing child and youth, empowering women, addressing community health, preserving traditional art and craft, disseminating knowledge on rights and entitlements of poor and helping small voluntary organizations to grow. Let us look at the work the end does. Child and youth development is one of the key focus areas of the end with special focus on poor children or children going to government schools. The end has formed several child's development centers in the interior villages or in forest areas. These development centers have remedial classes for middle school children, provision of supplementary teachers for schools that have few or no teachers at all. Emphasis is given on overall development of child and improving their interactions to learn newer concepts. Supplemented by use of teaching learning materials, sports, recreation, singing and other activities. The Village Development Education Committee representing parents and elders of the village are able to see a positive impact of these centers. According to them, children are learning newer things and are always looking forward to attend these centers after their school hours. They do not indulge in any wasteful activities which used to be the case earlier. In another initiative focusing children called Dolphin, the ant has set up joyful learning centers in schools. They are meant to provide enriched learning of four hours, reading, writing, arithmetic and recreation. Learning is also imparted through different teaching learning materials. Children are engaged in singing, drawing, painting. They are made aware of their rights in form of melodious songs. Children learn and perform small acts to convey practical messages concerning their rights and general environment. Children are also taught social education wherein they democratically elect their leaders for different activities. Children are taught to keep school premises clean. They also learn about personal hygiene, nutritious diet and concept of kitchen garden. A hot and nutritious meal is served at these schools under the midday meal scheme of the government. Nearly 2,000 children, boys and girls, are getting benefit of this project. In order to build scientific temperament amongst children, the ant, with the help of Agastya Foundation, has put in place a system of lab in a box. A variety of science models and experiments are placed in boxes covering physics, chemistry and biology. These boxes are rotated among clusters of schools. The program is now covering 23 government schools and reach over 2,000 students, making science learning more effective and meaningful. The ANT makes effective use of sports as a powerful tool for development and learning. They promote participation, human values, discipline, health, non-violence, tolerance, gender equality and above all, teamwork. The ANT is running Ultimate Frisbee as Sports for Development project for over three years for age groups like 7 to 10, 11 to 14 and 15 to 19 years. More than 3,000 participants are enrolled. 
nearly 50% of them are girls. The project also focuses on capacity development by identifying and training youth facilitators and a community youth mentor. Nearly 200 youth volunteers are also associated with this program. Domestic violence against women is a serious problem. Women are mostly unable to protect themselves or fight back. Acceptance of violence as a norm by women or society makes matter even worse. To counter the high incidence of domestic violence, the ANT undertook a project in May 2017 in 100 villages of Chirang district. Under this initiative, ANT undertakes street plays, puts up posters to sensitize men, women, young boys and police personnel. They also create awareness of gender laws relating to women. The ANT provides legal aid, emotional support, shelter and livelihood support to the domestic violence survivors. Over 150 survivors are currently seeking ANT's help under the project. Okay. So she said that ah, I'm thankful to legal aid cell and this women and also the SSG women because before my condition was very bad but still now I'm getting a minimal amount and and I now I'm becoming much stronger than before. Now I can manage by myself. The ANT started a community mental health project amidst a population of over 100,000 people. Under this program, ANT conducts camps every month for mental illness including epilepsy. Treatment is available at its campus and ANT also conducts six outreach camps every month in government public health centers to make medical help closer and more easily accessible to more and more people. These camps have over 1000 patients who come regularly to see the doctor and to collect their medicines. Every month about 40 new patients get registered. More than 5000 patients have been treated successfully under this project. A nominal fee of Rs 300 a month per patient is being charged for the services and medicine which makes this project self-sustaining and affordable. In order to protect traditional music and dance, the ant conducted dance and music workshops for training boys and girls to play their traditional instruments like sifung, kind of a flute, kham, a long drum, and sarja, a long string violin. They also learned the traditional bodo dances. It is very heartening to note that boys and girls are working alongside to protect their tradition and have participated in various music and dance competition within the region. जो देखा आप लोग ये बागरुम्बा डांस है पूरा जितना भी म्यूजिक है तो हम लोग मतलब एक कलेक्शन करके इसका इसका मतलब सबका जोर जोर के थोड़ा थोड़ा करके तो हम एक म्यूजिक बना के हम लोग मतलब सब जाता है मैं 2016 पे ही आया यही यही पे सीखा हमारा एक गुरु है जिसे सीखा अच्छा लगता है मन को बहुत अच्छा लगता है अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट्स डायरेक्ट विलेज वर्क द एंड अंडरटूक एन इनफॉर्मल वीविंग इनिशिएटिव इन 2002 to sustain the traditional Bodo weaving art and to create livelihood opportunities for Bodo women. Success of this program motivated the end to form a separate trust under the name Agor Dagra Afat in 2005. This is a weavers organization which is entirely managed and run by weaver women. Agor is self-sustaining, a non-profit organization over 100 women work either out of their own homes or at the weaving center. Agor clocks an annual sales of Rs 10 million and distributes Rs 4 million in salary and wages. Agor has successfully reintegrated over 300 housemates who were otherwise being paid poorly for their work. Most of them continue to weave. The Ant has also set up a craft trust in Bangalore, now a separate entity called the Ants Craft Trust to promote a positive image of the Northeast through selling high quality art and craft work. 
the ant formed an institute of development action to strengthen and support the voluntary sector it has trained over 1500 ngo personnel and has a network of partner organization in assam meghalaya and manipur it also provides funding and support to startup ngos to help them grow and sustain themselves in the northeastern region the ant started a legal aid center in 2014 a lawyer and a paralegal support work together and assist in resolving domestic violence cases land dispute cases and also assist them in providing access to relief compensation this service helps poor people in seeking justice and fighting for their rights and entitlement the ant has a history of helping the bodos and adivasis during their difficult times either being displaced during conflicts or during floods During 2012 and 2014 the ant helped directly or through other ngos in settling displaced people in relief camps the ant also conducts awareness camps for the village people educating them about various government schemes and how they could take benefit of the same over the past 18 years the ant has undertaken several large projects many institutions and individuals from india and abroad have given their support and trust to name a few azim premji philanthropic initiatives bangalore caring friends mumbai arpan foundation usa dka and kfb austria teredas homes and child aid networks of germany national foundation for india tata trust ford foundation british high commission unicef and undp i think when we uh, first started and um, we didn't even know how long we would survive over here because uh, you know the circumstances were also like that and we were new to this area and uh, you know so we came here with a very honest thing of you know trying to do our bit i think one thing you were very clear was yeah. that unless we are seen to be long term players here staying yeah. here and what not yeah. people will not really trust us so that was very clear that we will be going staying with people doing things and i've always seen ant as a lighthouse kind of a thing you know where people don't i mean you know mm-hmm. ships don't have to crash into the lighthouse but you take mm-hmm. direction from it i think we always say that you know i think uh, we've been very very blessed in our lives and that uh, i think it's a luxury for us to be able to work here uh, there may be many people who want to do something like this and we feel that maybe they're not <laughs> able to do it yeah well, i think what inspires me constantly i think is uh, uh you know people whom i meet in the village who i think are very bright sometimes I mean, none of us gives them the space or change this the way the society works i mean uh, you know india would be bereft of their leadership and i think somewhere we need to do our yeah. bit i think uh, i see the confidence of women you know many many women whom we worked with that's grown a lot I feel our ability to be able to reach the poorest so i think that's a very big uh, you know satisfaction that you you can reach the people who need to be reached to i'm really looking forward to the next 20 years you know and there's a lot to be done i think uh, at the ground level i think certain things will happen but i think we have a still a larger role i think there's a lot of work to be done in that it's very exciting yeah, yeah. i am confident that this organization will run beyond me and beyond us uh, culture has been developed where there is a bit more i mean lo- a lot of honesty there and work and is also a symbol of hard work cooperative efforts and a never give up attitude a salute to indomitable ant which silently and collectively works to achieve objectives much bigger than their minuscule size true to its name the journey of the ant remains very inspiring ant has laid path to bring marginalized communities to the mainstream it is truly a cause worth supporting